I'm not mistaken, there should be a little summon sign. Or Mildred. <laughs> he has so many holes in his face. He's like a beehive. Okay, Mildred, come on. You're going to destroy this boss for me. Because I don't really trust my weapon right now. Is that zero out of ten actually disgusting? Give me the spider back. <laughs> How much does one soul arrow do? Nothing. Well, good thing I brought me a Mildred. Is she trying to walk through the lava? <laughs> She's so smart. There she goes. She sprung into action. She's ready to do something. I think. Look at her go! Never mind. I think, I think she'll be stuck on the lava again. Oh, she... She did it! <laughs> she hit... Dude, this fight super early too. Ouch. First boss. That's what I thought. So the way you do that is going through a Valley of Drakes by using the Master Key, right? It's all the Quayla. Mildred wasn't very smart. Happiness ahead. I probably would not have beaten her first try if it weren't for Mildred, honestly. I probably could have beaten her first try on my own if I, uh... If I actually leveled intelligence to, like, a smart person. And yes, hell yeah, Ricard Rapier time. Also, we get to see the snake people. First, let's see down here. There's an elevator that I don't trust. 
Well, actually, I guess I do trust it now. Oh, I remember this place. Uh, I remember, uh, playing Dark Souls 1 on, uh, my friend's PS3 for, like, two minutes. Because I kind of wanted to know how it felt. And when I launched the game, I just took, uh, his character. And all I did... He was at this bonfire. This is where I spawned. All I did was kind of just roll around, do a few R1s, and then try to perform a glitch, which I later learned I couldn't perform anyway because I needed a glitched out item that I clearly didn't have. That was a very nice day. Is there any fast way back? Well, hopefully I don't meet an untimely demise if these uh, 24k souls like a noob, I'm 100% gonna get invaded twice in a row, lose my souls on the ground, and then lose them permanently when I'm unable to reach them. I don't think I would be angry. Sometime I'll definitely need to check a list of soul transposition. So I'm fairly certain most souls are useless to me. I'm pretty sure the trip up will be more difficult than the trip down. Now where am I? Not in the right spot is where. Is that the only way back up? Because it feels like a long way. The elevator. The elevator. Which elevator? Ah, oh, I hope it has some bomb-ass elevator music. This is a plank shield. That's not an elevator. Oh, that elevator. I don't know why I didn't think of that. Alright, back up. Relentless. Oh, he dodged everything. What a beast. There are so many dogs down there. Ah, Firekeeper Soul. What's up with this little rock wall? Whoa. Get out of here. Ah, there we go. There we go. This is better in every way. <laughs> except the crimson gloves for some reason are worse in every way except curse resist. Cool. <laughs> the dingy sit. Dead. I guess I killed her. Yeah, she had it coming. She was rude. She never told me any cool stories. She got what she deserved. The bino's a weapon like in Dark Souls 2. Now yeah, that was a weird thing. Or maybe I just didn't pick up the binoculars. Are there binoculars in Dark Souls 1? What do you have to Can say about it? Second bell? That is incredible, I must say. But now we have a new problem. It's noisy. It snores. And its breath is lethal. This is no <laughs> laughing matter, I tell you. It's noisy, it snores, and its breath is lethal. That sounds like my roommate on an off day. Damn. Oh, hey, man. I see that you drained all the water. Ah, hello. Was it you who rang the bell of awakening? <laughs> I am the primordial serpent, King Seeker Frant. 
close friend of the great Lord Gwyn, chosen undead, <laughs> who has rung the bell of awakening. I love his mustache. I, to I can feed him. <laughs> oh, I need to feed him something. What would he like? Oh, he gives souls. I'll feed him a firebomb. That's probably not too uh, fun in his stomach. Well, it's nice to know that if there are any useless items, I can pawn it off to this loser. Oh, you can tell. You can tell that Frampt loves music. Look at the top of his head. He's definitely been wearing headphones too long. His head caved in. What kind of headphones do you think he has? Beats by Dre? <laughs> This game really is great so far. My expectations for the rest of the game right now seems like uh yet exponentially stronger, especially with sorceries. So I feel like for the most part it'll just get less and less hard. All that twinkles is a titty. That right there is a Mozart quote. It was well known for his uh, enthusiasm for tits. The birds, of course. What was I doing? There was something I was doing. I'm gonna blame Andre for that, he's too loud. I was gonna be human. <laughs> well, now Mr. Siegboy of Katarina is gone. Crap ahead. How did none of that hit me? Oh! Oops. Okay, they're fairly bulky. Ouch. Want to do a running attack? <laughs> I mean, is it really worth it right now, though? Right Soul Arrow has about half of the uses. But is it really twice as strong? Okay, yeah, that's definitely better. I will admit that the Great Soul Arrow is just generally good throughout the entire series. Ah, I got the button. But... More but. You'd think that I'm a scaly, I'm getting so much lizard butt. <laughs> that ghost was so impressive. They just glided down. Ouch. Stop that. Is this snake a man or a woman? It looks a lot more feminine than the other ones. Something about the eyes, I don't know. Well, that's the guy besides... <laughs> oh, maybe it's like the, 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 the gizzards. Not the gizzards, but uh... How wide the neck is. That's what makes it feminine. Ah, come here. Oops. I forgot that I do no damage. At least the traps are one time. One time for now. Is that foreshadowing to s the suffering I'll experience later? Liar ahead. Well, you're the liar. I think about it. How does that go? I'm like afraid right now of what way to go. That's what I thought. How did- how am I alive? Maxing out health just generally seems like a good idea. Even on my other runs, like say Dark Souls 3, I probably played that one upwards of 20 times. It just makes sense to me to level, uh... to level health first. Because the more health you have, the more room 
you have for error. It's just nice to know that you can be pretty casual in how you do everything. Hmm. Amen. You seem quite lucid. His face is not what I expected. No, maybe I ought to change my statement from from earlier. So in Dark Souls 2 and 3, it feels like a good idea to level uh both first. In Dark Souls 1, you kind of need the damage, don't you? Uh, I'm so happy that I'll get to learn magic from Big Fat Logan. His hat contains all of his body fat. He's actually 300 pounds. Come on, it's magic. If you were a magic man, you wouldn't you want to hide your shame? Lady, can you get off of me? I know that I'm the chosen undead, but come on. She wanted to leech off my fame. Maybe grab a few souls while she was at it. Even though I know I moved the rocks. That sound is terrifying. Ouch. Who the hell moved that back? Was that me? It was Sen. Sen himself. That chest just straight up doesn't have a chain. Oh, well, alright then. Mimics are such an unfortunate enemy to me. It has always been the case that as long as you stand right behind them, they can't do anything. Poor guys. I should go up more. I recognize where I am too, so... The only place I can think of going is up. <laughs> That's hilarious. <laughs> okay, back into Sen's funhouse. Oh wait, there are stairs here? Didn't notice that until the last second. Hi, statue. Maybe I could pick my nose with his fingers. Ah, hopefully they follow me. Ha <laughs> Loser. <laughs> Back in there. You can't get out of that. I love this place. This is one of those games that now I kind of regret not having played it blind. This place probably won't be as memorable because of that. Are you gonna throw that at me? No. Okay. Not yet. Hey, Mr. Giant Man. Oh my god. Hey there, buddy. I should not call these people buddy. At any rate, the reason I shouldn't call them buddy... Whenever someone uses the word buddy to try to intimidate someone, it doesn't come off as intimidating. Because they just use the word buddy? Card, please.
Ah. I just say ha ha. Okay, got the rape here. How much do I need? 20. Holy Jesus, 20. Well, I'll keep investing in X for a while. Well, hopefully it's good. <laughs> 